protects the taxpayers of the state of California because ultimately it will be taxpayers in whole or in part that will be paying for the cemetery. This is a decision that affects many, many, many lives. Uh, congratulations to Irvine for their dedication and their commitment to veterans and a veteran cemetery. And that commitment was evidenced five years ago when you supported a site to allow veterans a final place to rest. That was the artist site. That was a site that was studied. That was a site that was approved both by CalVet and by the Federal Veterans Administration. And following that approval, there was another site, the Strawberry Fields site. In fact, the uh, Strawberry Fields site was supported by my wife, who's here, now retired Brigadier General Humberg. She supported that site and campaigned for it. It didn't happen. It was rejected by the voters here in Irvine. And then there was another proposal. I'll call it golf course site number one. Golf course site number one was proposed, and that golf course site was in existence all the way up to and including the Veterans Committee hearing where I watched and sat just last month. Golf course site number one included what looked like a coyote eating the ball, but had anybody asked CalVet or the Federal Veterans Administration whether that would ever be approved, they would have been told immediately the answer is no. It would not have been approved, and it could not have been approved. Uh, there was another foray that created a cemetery in Anaheim. That's not a veteran's cemetery. A portion of it might be dedicated to veterans, but it's not a veteran's cemetery. And then golf course site number two, which is in maybe three weeks. Golf course site number two is different, very different than golf course site number one. Golf course site number two has not gone through the process, has not gone through transportation committee, nor has it gone, excuse me, commission, nor has it gone through the planning commission. A couple of corrections. Um, one is the $10 million with respect to the golf course site, whether it's one or two, I do not know. But let's assume it's golf course site number two. That $10 million is contingent upon federal VA approval. There's been no submission to the federal VA. Senator, your time's up. Will you finish up, please? Uh, uh, yes, sorry. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah. I appreciate that, Madam Mayor. Um, the same thing with respect to the numbers, as Councilman Fox pointed out. Apples to apples will be a closer, closer comparison. Let me just say. That may I donate my time? May I donate my time to the senator? I will finish up, Madam Mayor. So there would be no cemetery approved without either the council's approval or the citizens' approval. State legislature can build a cemetery here. It will be up to the Irvine representatives or the citizens. Let me just conclude by saying. No, okay, that your I'm sorry, your time's up. Let him speak. We're going to follow the three minute rule, whether you like it or not. You're our guest. I'm going to be the cook. I'm going to be the cook. concerning personalities that's infected this debate. And what I wanted to say, had I had an opportunity, I would have quoted my favorite Republican president. And what I would have said is, I would have said that Abraham Lincoln said, we've come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that the nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper we should do this. But in the larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground the brave men and women, and women, living and dead who struggle, have consecrated far above our poor power to add or detract. So we should keep that in mind when we're debating and discussing this issue. It is, it is, it is important that we recognize the mission we're all about, and that is providing a place to Where's the sergeant of arms? Do we have a sergeant of arms? Yay! Thank you, Senator. Thank you for your service. 
The people up there have no skin in the game. Not one of them served. Be quiet or I'll have you escorted out of the room. We're not, we're not going to have this hearing going crazy. So stop it right now or I'll shut the meeting down completely and you can all go home. We need to recall. Years ago, or having done so. Oh, Mr. Banter, we're in this moment, we're not, we haven't reconvened yet. So.